Hi everyone. My name is Vicki with Crochet and More with Vicki Jo. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to do a stitch tutorial and it's called the Puff Cable. This is the example that I made up. You see all the cables here. Okay. Very nice stitch. Not hard to do. This is a um, two row repeat. And I would suggest when you're making your chain to go with a larger hook than the hook that you're going to be using throughout your pattern. You can see here, see this tilt on here on this pattern? Can you see that? It's like a little tilt and it goes in right here. Well, I used a 5.5 hook throughout the whole pattern here. So it made it like curl a little bit. I don't know. It could be the yarn because it's a thicker yarn. Um, I used, what did I use? Big Twist on this one. So um, yes, I would suggest you use a larger one. So I went ahead and I made up, I went ahead and crocheted 20 plus the 2. And I crocheted it with a uh, size 6 hook. And I'm going to work the rest of the pattern or the demonstration with a 5.5. And I'm going to be using, I love this yarn. You see that? I love this yarn in this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I went ahead and chained 20. The chain multiple is 4 plus 2. And green here. Okay, it's 4 plus 2, so I chained 20 plus the 2. So on row 1, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Okay, so you don't want to go into this one. You want to go into this second one here. And you're going to single crochet. And you're going to single crochet in the remaining of the stitches all the way across. So you get to the end. You can fast forward if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just work this single crochet down to the end. I hope you're all having a nice day today. Now, if you're new to crochet and I'm going to fast for you, you can always go back and um, Rewind and fast forward in slow motion so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I got a little bit of a knot. Okay. A single crochet all the way across. A little hot out here today in Prescott Valley. Put in comments if you would like to and let me know where you're at today. How's your the weather over there where you're at? Okay, so now we're at the end in row two. Well, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. I always like to tighten that up a little bit. Okay. Now in row two, we're going to double crochet in each stitch across. Okay. So that's one. We're going to go into this next stitch. And that's two. Is this here? This counts as it, the first double crochet. Okay. The chain three that you did here at the end, that's a double crochet. So we're going to go into the next stitch, put the double crochet, and we're going to do this all the way across. Just like we did the single crochets. Work it all the way to the end.
Am I out of frame again? Sorry about that. Here's the last one, and now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn our work. Now this chain four counts as our first treble or triple crochet. Okay. So on row three, we're going to do a back post triple crochet around the next stitch, which means this double crochet right here that we made in our last roll, we're going to work a back post treble crochet. So you're going to wrap your hook twice and you're going to come up from behind. Okay? Bring your hook up into this space and you're going to go over that double crochet with your hook and go down. Then you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull it back through Oops, let me do that again. Okay, you're going to go from behind over, and you're going to pull that back up. You're going to wrap your yarn over, come through the first uh, two loops, yarn over, go through the next two loops, yarn over, and go through the last two loops. Okay, and now you're going to put a, in this next double crochet, you're going to put a um, puff stitch. So you're going to wrap your yarn over, go into this stitch on top of your double crochet, and you're going to bring up a loop. You're going to want to pull it up to like the length of a double crochet, and you're going to wrap your yarn again, go back into that same stitch, okay? Grab your yarn, pull it up, and you're going to wrap your yarn over your hook again, go back into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up. You should have seven uh, stitches, seven loops on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn, you're going to pull through all seven, and then you're going to do a chain. Okay. Don't forget to do the chain. That's going to secure that puff stitch. Okay. So then you're going to do another back post treble crochet in your next chain or your next double crochet. So you're going to wrap your hook twice, you're going to come up from behind, go over, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn, go through the first two loops, grab your yarn, pull through the next two loops, Grab your yarn, pull through the last two loops, and you just completed a treble crochet. Okay. And after that, you're going to put a double crochet in the next double crochet. See? The next stitch there. Now you want to be careful by not putting um, your double crochet into this stitch. See, this stitch goes along with this double crochet. Okay, that's all like one right here. You want to pay attention to that. Make sure you don't accidentally put it into that chain or you're going to have to frog your whole project and start over. We don't want to do that. Okay, so now you're going to repeat from the beginning across. So you're going to do a back post, treble crochet around your next double crochet. Okay. And you're going to do a puff stitch in your next double crochet. One. Remember, you're going to insert your hook three times for a puff stitch. You have seven loops. You're going to grab your yarn and pull through all seven, and you're going to secure it 
uh, with a chain stitch. Okay. Now you're going to do another back post around the next double crochet. Okay. Keep getting out a frame there. Okay. And then you're going to do the double crochet in the next stitch or the next double crochet. Okay. Always make sure you're going in the top of your double crochet right here. That's going to help you out because if you were to put it here, you can see it's off to the side of this stitch. Okay. If you're putting it, if you're going to put it, if you put it into the right stitch, it's going to be right on top of that. If that makes sense. Okay. Now you're going to do another back post treble crochet and go up and over. And you're going to do another puff, puff stitch. Okay. Now let's go back and look here. We have our back post treble crochet. We have a puff stitch. We have a back post double crochet or treble crochet. And we have a double crochet. Then we repeat. The next set, back post, treble crochet, a puff stitch, back post, treble crochet, and a double crochet. And you have the back post, treble crochet, a puff stitch. Now we're going to do another back post, back post, treble crochet. Oops. And then we're going to do a double crochet. And you're just going to repeat this all the way to the end of your project, to the end of that roll, whatever you're going to make with this. And then you're going to start over. So it's like a set of four that you're going to be repeating in row three. Okay, so now we're going to do a back post treble crochet. And then we're going to do a puff stitch. Remember, you want to insert your hook three times. Pull this yarn out. Okay. One more through all seven and you want to do a chain on top of that okay and now we're going to do another back post treble crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and then after that we're going to do another back post treble crochet Then we're going to do a puff stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do another back post treble crochet. And then in this chain, remember you, know, you don't want to go into this one here. You have chain three right here. So you want to do a double crochet on the top of that chain three. Okay. And then you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. Ooh, it's hot in, in my office here. Okay. Now we're back to row four. 
row four is always going to be your right side, okay? Right side of your work. So we're going to do a front post treble crochet now around that first. This is your back post, the one that we did on the other roll. So now we're going to do a front post over this one here. So it's the same way, but instead of coming up behind, you're going to go top down behind your um, back post. You're going to grab your yarn. You're going to come through the first two loops second two and then the last two loops that's a front post treble crochet okay, now we're going to do a double crochet in the puff stitch okay you want to just go into that chain right on top of the puff stitch okay remember when we made the puff stitch then we did a chain with us the chain you're going to go into do a double crochet now we're going to do a front post double crochet or treble crochet around this back post treble crochet. Okay. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet. Then we're going to do a front post around this back post. And then we're going to do a double crochet. And we're going to just repeat this all the way across to the end, okay? So after the double crochet, we're going to do the a front post treble crochet over, working over this back post treble crochet. Let me go, let me, I'm going to do this one slow for you that are new so you can see how I'm doing this. So on this particular one, we're going to do work the front post treble crochet so we're going to wrap our hook twice okay and we're going to go down this way now okay and we're going to come up like that and grab our yarn and we're just going to pull it through okay. remember the back post treble crochet we came up behind it. The front post, we're going down in front. Okay? So I hope you got that. I hope you understood what I was trying to show you there. Like I said, if I'm going too fast or if you didn't quite get that, you can always rewind the tape and keep looking at it until you can get that. Or if you're having a struggle with it, you can always email me and I'll get back to you on that. Okay, so I did the front post treble crochet, and then I'm going to do a double crochet, okay, in the next double crochet. Now we're going to do another front post. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the top of this puff stitch. Now we're going to do another front post treble crochet. And now we're going to do another double crochet. So in row four, it's front post um, treble crochet, double crochet, front post treble crochet, double crochet, front post treble crochet, double crochet. It's just that repeat over and over and over till you get to the end of your project. Okay, another front post. 
We have a puff stitch, so we're going to do a double crochet on top of that puff stitch. And we're going to do another front post treble crochet. I'm going to do another double crochet. I'm going to do another front post treble crochet. We have another puff here. We're going to do a double crochet in the top of that puff stitch. And we have this last um, back post treble crochet. We're going to work the front post treble crochet. Okay, then we have this chain left. And on this chain, we are going to work a double crochet. So we're going to wrap our yarn over and we're going to go one, two, we're going to go in the third chain. Okay. Double crochet. And that's it. You're just going to continue on chain three, turn your work, and you're going to start over on row three. And you're going to repeat rows three and four until you finish however, whatever you're making, the length or I think I'd make a really nice blanket, but whatever you're making, you're just going to repeat row three and four over and over. And then that's all you do. And I think it's very pretty. Get it back in line here. Now, do you notice by chaining with the, uh, a larger hook, it's more equal now? I don't know if you can see that here. You see how this was all just sort of like curls in a like a half circle or something. But this one is nice and straight. So yes, I would recommend whatever you're making when you do your chain, go into a use a larger hook for the chain and then go back to the hook that you want to use. Sorry about that. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this stitch and once again, it's called the Puff Cable. And whatever you decide to make with this, please um, share in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And just remember that Jesus loves you, and so do I. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.